How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. So today we're taking a look at Aurora brand filaments. These are Australian made 3D printing filaments in ABS or PLA flavors. Are they any good? Well, stick around to find out. So I've been talking to Oromus for a little while now and he sent through two rolls of PLA and two rolls of ABS to test. And as I said, this plastic, this 3D printing filament is made in Australia. He extrudes it himself at his Victorian warehouse. And yeah, I was actually quite pleasantly surprised at the packaging of these materials. He's actually put a lot of effort into the design of the box. It looks quite good. And the filament rolls are actually really nice. They've got the, the classic Australian made uh, sticker on there. So yes, these are extruded in Australia. And as I said, in Victoria. And the rolls are actually quite interesting. They're not uh, as heavy duty as some other brands, but at the same time, they're, they're perfectly capable of holding the filament in place. And they're certainly much better than those horrible cardboard rolls you can see on other filaments where they sort of burst apart. This works quite well and it was perfect for my needs. Another thing I do appreciate is it's sort of that more standardized size where it's, it's got the larger hole which fits onto most spool holders and it's not too wide, which means a lot of spool holders, if you have a too wide a roll, they don't fit nicely on machines. So yeah, nice choice of form factor. So in terms of the ones I chose to print, I went with the glow in the dark PLA and I went with the gray ABS. So with the glow in the dark PLA, I went to my Cocoon Create, which is my Wanhao Duplicator i3 V2 rebranded. It's the one from Audi. And I decided to just print on standard PLA settings and it works perfectly. So the first print I did was kind of ambitious. It was this, this is from uh, my mini factory, it's from the Scan the World Initiative. It's like a, a merchant mask. The filament didn't stop. I need to reiterate this. The filament had no problem extruding. I stopped this print because I couldn't sleep and my Wanhao i3 is directly below my bed in another room and I could hear it through the floorboards so I had to kill it to get a night's rest. Uh, which is a real shame because it was going all day and I really tried to resist. But as you can see, the finish on this is phenomenal and the support material on PLA, remember, is perfect. I mean, look, I resisted doing this till this video. How nice is that? It's just, it's beautiful. So, put that over there. So the next thing I decided to try was obviously something a bit smaller so it didn't keep me up all night. And that was this, which is the zombie head that my friend, uh, Miles and Jules Films, uh, decided to zombify. I did a 3D scan a while ago and filled it with lollies. This is the original scan and it's a little bust and this is printed at 100 micron layer height. And it is awesome. There's a few tiny holes, infill problems at the top, but I'm pretty sure that was my Simplify 3D settings. And the rest just looks great. Again, the support material on this pulled away flawlessly. I had no issues whatsoever with that. So in terms of their PLA, highly recommend it. I had no issues with it and it's cheap. I mean, the, the Aurora PLA filament is $34 you know, a kilo in Australia, which is great. That's one of the cheapest filaments you can get. Moving on to the ABS. So when I first opened the roll of ABS, I did notice one thing. It does have a bit of a smell to it. And the thing with ABS, printing ABS, it is quite a smelly plastic. I never recommend to people printing ABS in the same room they're working. And I talked to Oromos about it and basically he packs these as soon as they're, they're extruded and ABS does have a chemical smell to it. And he was saying that a lot of brands tend to just leave them to off gas for a long time, but he fresh, freshly packs them. So it's really not really noticeable when it's uh, just in its, in its um, solid state. But when it is extruding, I did notice it a little bit. And this is on the up box. So the up box does have a HEPA filter. It cut down a lot of the fumes, but I did smell it in the room. So in terms of extruding ABS, always try to do it in a room that's elsewhere to where you're working, but that's, probably the only thing I can say negatively about this ABS plastic. So I said I did do it on the up box. For those who don't know, the up printers have a locked down temperature, but there is a hack. So to print this filament successfully on your up box, you have to use the hack. And I actually had to lower the temperature really, really quite far down. So the first print I did on the up box was the bender head, which everyone is printing. And it's a gray, so I had to do bender and it looks fantastic, 250 micron layer heights. You cannot complain about that finish, but I did struggle to get the raft off the bottom. I actually ripped into the, it's, it's hollow. So I ripped into the bottom of the print, unfortunately. And that's because the raft was stuck down a bit too much because the two higher temperatures. So that I did a few other sort of smaller prints. Again, not quite right, but third time's the charm. This is the third one I did. 
and you can see beautiful just like the art filament and the magic numbers to do this on my art box was 245 degrees for the first layer 225 degrees for the second layer and 220 degrees for the subsequent layers so this is very low for abs plastic but it's roughly in line with what i use for e-sun so it must be a similar kind of abs and apart from the lower temperatures it works great so i really do appreciate the gray it's a nice gray I do like printing in grey, it's my favourite colour to print 3D models in because it's coming from an industrial design background, we do grey form studies all the time and I do appreciate this light grey so it's definitely a filament I'll be using quite a lot in future. So where does that leave us with the Aurorum brand filaments? Well, like I said in my previous filament review video, you're very unlikely to find filament on the market today that is outright terrible, that just won't print. With the right tweak settings, you can print pretty much everything on the market that you can buy, no matter how low cost. And I do challenge someone to send me a roll of filament that I that is just rubbish. If you've bought filament that it just doesn't print, get in touch with me. I want to test it and prove to the world that it doesn't work. Because, yeah, as I said, the Aurora and filament, the ABS, I need to, needed to tweak settings on my art box. But once I did tweak those settings, it printed beautifully. The PLA, I didn't need to do anything and it worked fantastically. So... In summary, if you're in Australia, I would highly recommend the Aurora filaments. They are very low cost. I think the only filament that I found that was lower cost was the Aldi filament when it was in stores, but now you have to pay shipping, which makes it more expensive than the Aurora stuff. Another thing I do like that, that Aurora has in his store is he stocks like uh, the, the System 30 aluminum extrusion system. So if you're looking to build your own 3D printer, which he does, he has the, the Wombot series, which I do highly recommend checking out. And check out, uh, put a link to Joel's video and a link to Anthony's video on the Wombots if you're interested in checking those out. But I do appreciate him having those things for the more DIY uh, angled uh, tinkerers who want to build more substantial structures using this aluminium extrusion stuff, which is quite hard to find in Australia. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this review of the Aurora Filaments. Hope you found it useful. If you want to see future 3D printing reviews, tips, tricks, and news on Makers Muse, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button right there. It helps me a massive amount. I'll love you forever, and I'll see you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later, guys.